Hello my dear viewers and listeners, I hope each and everybody out there doing great and having good health. In this video, I shall be explaining about the rules of falling bodies invented by Galileo Galilei. And this is very important to understand the concept of falling bodies because in the chapter of motion and force, you know those are studying right now in English version and O level, there are very significant mathematics that we need to solve it based on these uh, concept because when there are some bodies like throwing bodies or falling bodies, then we consider G instead of A. So in order to understand this first, we need to consider these laws of falling bodies that what uh, Galileo invented. So in the country of Italy, there is a uh, city, Pisa, there is an oblique building and from that building, Galileo let fall various amount of substance and object to the ground and observe something and th from that observation we got three different laws which is known as falling bodies so i wrote in the whiteboard uh, it's obviously open in your also book and you can see that what what is the exact explanation of these falling bodies the first thing that we need to consider there are some condition like if i right now in in this surface if i just make it fall this two two marker at a time from the same height these two will probably go down simultaneously and parallelly but if if there is a coin or even there is a paper and there is a stone if i fall down from this height they won't go at the same time to the ground because there is an air pressure in the atmosphere so the condition of understanding of these falling bodies rules we need to understand that all the bodies will be fallen from rest that is important that means the initial velocity of all the objects would be zero if it is started from rest and from the same height and most importantly without any resistance this is important so there are three conditions in these three rules so in these three rules or laws we can say that Galileo's falling bodies rules of falling bodies we have three conditions that all the object that is falling from a same height so same height and without any resistance and the initial velocity would be zero so they will be falling from the rest so if this three condition is okay then the first law is that all bodies falling from the rest and from the same height without any resistance travels equal distance in equal time it means if there is an object 5 kilo 5 gram or even 5 milligram so we understand there is a variation among their masses so if it is ground and suppose this is 100 meter height 100 meter height the condition is all the object would be started from rest that means u should be zero and they would be falling from the same height so the height is same and also there should not be any resistance like there is no air resistance there is no other resistance rather than the gravity because due to the gravity they will definitely fall down because if there is no gravity they will be sustained like the same positions they will not come down because when earth is attracting them they will come down and that is the accelerations due to gravity and that is the gravity so rather than gravity there is no air air resistance so if all the bodies of different masses falling from the same height from the rest and without any air resistance they will traverse the same distance in the same time i mean they will fall here at the same time so all the time t is equal okay 
this is the first law so we need to understand that all bodies falling from rest all bodies falling from rest from the same height without any air resistance or without any resistance traverse equal time I mean equal distance in equal time and the second law also the three condition will be applied the velocity this is important the velocity the velocity acquired by a freely falling body as this is the rules of falling bodies from the rest again there is a condition u should be zero in a given time is directly proportional to the time that means they will be falling from the same height there is no air any resistance if the condition is okay the velocity is depending on time that means if I fall in from this height and this height and if I say that it requires 10 seconds to fall in the, in the ground from that height and it requires 4 seconds from that height to the ground will they, will they come to the ground at the same time? No and they won't, they won't have accurate the velocity, the same velocity because it requires 10 seconds so the 10 seconds that it travels much height and also it acquired and it definitely acquired the high velocity then this one so the velocity depending on the time travels so when the the falling bodies take much time the comparisonly that the time they're taking by then the velocity would be higher and here the time is comparatively low so the velocity will be less. So the velocity of freely falling bodies acquired by the time that it taken. So the V is proportional to T. So the V is proportional to T. And if you understand this, this is very easy again. So the distance traversed by a freely falling body from a rest, same, same condition in a given time. And then the third law is about the height and the time relationship. I and mean, height is depending on the square of time. So V is directly proportional to time and H is also directly proportional to time but time square. So we got three specific laws of freely falling bodies. As it is freely falling bodies that means there is no initial velocity it started from rest it's safe and also there is no air resistance so number one all the bodies will travel same distance in same time v is proportional to t and h is proportional to t square that means h is proportional to the square of time so the amount of time is required the square is proportional to h so here h is dependent to t and V is dependent to T. So T, the time, is the independent quantity, independent variable. So when time is high, the velocity of the object would be high. When time is high, the, the distance covered by the body would be high. So this is a very short explanation of freely falling bodies, the rules of falling bodies. So you just think, first one, the first law is all bodies falling from rest and from the same height without any resistance travels equal distance in equal time. The second law is the velocity v acquired by a freely falling body from rest in a given time t is directly proportional to that time. And the third law is the distance traversed by a freely falling body from rest in a given time is directly proportional to the square of the time. So if you understand this principle, on next class I shall be explaining more mathematical and some sort of questions that is available on your question paper. So see you on next class and stay with me and keep watching these videos and do let me know what is the requirement. Take care. Bye.